First impressions matter, and that rule applies to your YouTube thumbnails. They offer the first impression that grabs viewers' attention, or not, if they are not interesting enough. Therefore, it's important that you create engaging thumbnails that communicate what your video is about. When used right, your thumbnail will increase your viewers and subscribers. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be discussing a YouTube thumbnail guide that covers everything you need to know about YouTube thumbnails and the best practices you should adopt. Are you ready? Let's dive in. With over 1.9 billion monthly YouTube viewers, you need to create good content and have an eye-catching thumbnail that is original, easy to read and interpret. To start, YouTube recommends an ideal thumbnail size and dimension, which is 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall. It should have a minimum width of 640 pixels, an aspect ratio of 16 to 9, and a maximum file limit of 2 megabytes. Any size or dimension smaller than this may not look good on most devices. Using a top quality picture matters because your thumbnail picture will take up the most space. A great photo attracts the attention of your viewer. A close-up shot of a face, preferably one where you're making eye contact, usually draws the viewer's attention. Viewers are also intrigued by visible emotions, such as excitement, surprise, happiness, and more. Once viewers feel connected, they will watch the video. You're not just limited to using human faces. You can use other custom graphic images that show the benefits of your video. These types of thumbnails usually carry brand names or logos, and they have a title text that gives the viewers more context about the video. The title text should offer insight into your video's content. If you're going to be design heavy, then be consistent and use the same style fonts, design, and colors with each video. There are online tools and thumbnail makers that you could use to make a professional thumbnail, and they include Canva, Snappa, PicMonkey, InstaCollege, and Adobe. When using these thumbnail makers, you should adopt the following advanced strategies. First, you should plan how your thumbnail will look before you film your video. A screenshot from your video clip may be of low quality. So, you should take thumbnail photos during your video shoot. Another tip you should know is that you can combine an image from your video with a custom graphic. This will create a more compelling YouTube thumbnail when done right. Keep testing different thumbnails and track results. If your video's click-through rate increases, then you have found the right thumbnail. Always check how your thumbnail looks on your phone. This way, you can know if your thumbnail is the right size for mobile view. Now, unfortunately, in an attempt to be creative, creators often go overboard. It is important to remain honest and avoid misleading titles and images that could hurt your brand or ruin your reputation. That's all for today. Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.